We got Lindsay Van Zant back here on the program. Is going to be making her Bellator debut coming up here February 15th at Bellator 215. Lindsay, how are you? I'm great. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm doing awesome. It's uh, good to talk to you again, and uh, congratulations on getting this opportunity. And before we talk about that, uh, you've been busy. I know you took a fight on short notice um, in your last fight uh, against a Canadian who I'm familiar with, uh, Miss Melissa Karagiannis. Um, you got the win in that one. Uh, just you know, talk about that experience, just getting a call on short notice and getting the win. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's also you know more fun when you win on short notice. But yeah, I was pretty lucky. Uh, I was actually eating ice cream when I got the call. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. I'm like, uh, I like put it down and I'm like, oh my God, I shouldn't even take a drink of water. So now I was even more thirsty because I was like, oh, I shouldn't do anything. I was like, <laughs> so I started packing and everything. So the next day we had, a, I got up at like five in the morning, jumped in a bath before I left, picked up my friend, we drove to Maryland and I was calling everybody because I had to get my corners, like everybody last minute. So everybody was really cool. Like my, my corner guys, Daryl and Shorty Rock, they were both awesome. And uh, so everything worked out. And, uh, yeah, then the fight was great. And, um, and not only did I take it on short notice, but, like, you know, she did too. So everybody has to give props to her as well because it's hard when your opponent keeps changing and changing and you don't know if you're fighting. And are you fighting and not? Who are you fighting? You don't know. So it's, it's, it's tough for both like, people. So it was, it was a blast. I like short minute fights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And how, how close to fight time was it uh, for those who don't know? Because I feel like it was less than a week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I originally got a call Wednesday night, and um, it just didn't work out. I don't know you know, like contract wise. And then Thursday they were like, all right, let's do this. And so, and then it was, and I was kind of I was eating ice cream because I was like, oh, I should have just accepted it. And then like, so I was eating ice cream because I was kind of upset on fight, you know? And then I was like, oh shit, I'm fighting. <laughs> I should have ate this ice cream. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it was really fast. It was because I waited in Friday night, the fight was Saturday and I got a call Thursday night and to finalize it. So I packed everything up. Like, literally, it was, like, 12 o'clock. I'm like, shit, I got to go to bed. Like, I was trying to pack everything, like, make sure I didn't forget anything. And, uh, yeah, so, and then we had to get medicals done. So, it was in Maryland. So, it was about, I forget how long the drive was, like, five, five hours, I think, five or six hours. And then uh, once we got down there, I had to get my blood work done, and I had to get my eyes dilated. So, when I went to the medical doctors that night to weigh in, uh, they were like, your eyes are really dilated. I, like, I literally just got them done. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, that was funny. And then. Like, weigh-ins worked out. I mean, I, I put them in 105. Um, they were going to give me to 7 o'clock because weigh-ins were at 5. But we literally walked in the door at 445 to the hotel. So we were, like, running to weigh-ins. And so whatever I was, I was. I weighed in at, like, 109 point something. And then they said that they just wanted to do 110. I guess she had was, she was having a hard weight cut. So I was like, 110's fine. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm like, whatever, you know. So... It worked out. <laughs> I'd say so. What was, yeah, what was the so, mentality going in? Because you didn't even really have enough time to like assess your opponent or everything. Are you just sort of on autopilot and you're like, look, I, I got nothing to lose here. Let's go in and yeah. take care of business. Well, I mean, I was coming off a, a loss like a month ago. So I was, I was a little nervous accepting it. Cause I was like, well, you shouldn't jump in right, like, you know, that close because you want to work on the things when like the mistakes that you've made and stuff. And I immediately started doing that right after my last, like that fight. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. And it worked out. And I think me, cause I'm like an overall thinker that this really helped me see like how I perform better when I don't think. So right. yeah, for me it's kinda, now, yeah, that's interesting. like this upcoming fight, I'm like, I don't care who the opponent is. I'm literally just going to go in there. And as long as I do what I know I can do now, if I don't overthink things, because like in MMA, you have so many options. Should I strike? Should I take her down? Once I take her down, should I pass? Should I hit? Like there's so many options and like, I just get excited. So that's kind of what you saw in that fight that I lost in Invicta. And I was like, you know, all the norms. And I was like, like, I was like, Oh my God, there's so much I can do. And then I don't know why I was like really excited for that fight. Well, you know, I was in Victor. So I was like, I can't believe I made it here. You know, like it was just kind of like a lot like at once for me. And like, it's always been a dream to make it to Invicta. So like I always watched Invicta when I was little. So like when I was there, I was like, Oh my God, I was like fangirling. And I'm like all the media. And I was like, I sort of just like, I, just, I needed to calm down. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no, and I hear you on that. Thinking. So like I, that fight was great for me. And now I know like, how I perform better. So like for me, I'm just not going to think because I train really hard and I know that if I just react, I'll be fine. So that's my game plan for now on. <laughs> well, I, I was, I was going to say, it seems like it would uh, work out better, especially in this case, because you, your opponent switched for this fight. So it wouldn't have made a difference if you would have focused on your opponent. And, and we'll talk about that in one second, but first, how did this come together with you fighting for Bellator? This is a huge deal. You know, five fights in getting to fight for the, the number two promotion. Yeah, no, um, my manager, he he, uh, he just whips everything out. Like, he just, he got two other guys uh, in the management, uh, t like, uh, that'll get managed by him. 
there's so there's like three of us and so he's all pumped up he's got three fighters going in he's making the banners and like my shorts and like sports bra looks awesome i'm like really excited to wear it it's like best outfit ever so i'm really excited about it <laughs> i wish i could show you right now but i can't so it's gonna be a surprise um but yeah he's awesome he he worked out a deal with them so i'm just really lucky to have him on my team sean rockwell if anybody doesn't know, I, I, I talk about him a lot. So <laughs> no, absolutely plug him. I mean, uh, it's it's great getting to be on this card. Now, how how much are people hitting you up for tickets? Because uh, I know obviously this is a big fight for you, and I'm sure people are like, "Hey, can you hook me up?" But people have to realize you're not ticket master. Like, you know, you, it, it, it's tough. You know. Yeah, that's like that's the hard part about selling tickets. But um, I have a bunch of tickets. I still am waiting for some tickets to come in. I have a bunch of regular tickets, like the upper level, like the fifty seven dollar ones, and I have um, a lot of cage side. And everybody's wanting case, so I'm like, shit, like, I'm not selling a lot of regular tickets. But I have a lot of them, so I'm, like, trying to sell them. But it was also hard, too, because I didn't have an official opponent until yesterday. So I was kind of holding on to them. Because if I start giving them out, people give me money, then I have to, like, return everything. And, like, you know, and I was telling people to wait off to getting them online, too, because they're not refundable. So I'm like, I feel bad. I don't want people to waste some money if I'm not going to be fighting. So now that it's, like, now it's, like, go time. I'm like, I got to sell all these tickets. So I'm like... If anybody wants tickets, hit me up. <laughs> yeah, no, no, absolutely. Um, let's talk about your opponent here. You're taking on uh, Batgirl. That, that's about all we know about your opponent. Um, you, do you know anything at all? I, I guess, like you said, it's more about worrying about your skill set when it comes to your fights. Yeah, yeah. Now my game plan is just like go for the kill. You know, I, I don't care. I'm just gonna do my thing, try to kill him. <laughs> Not like, like totally, but you know. <laughs> It seems like you knew about this fight for a while, though, at least being on this card. Um, how, how how did you structure your camp for this fight? I actually, what did I find out? I found out, I actually went to Florida. It actually really worked out really well. I planned a trip to go to Florida. I trained an American top team for about a week and on a couple of days. And uh, so I found out right before I left. I found out that Thursday and I left for Florida that Saturday. And that was the beginning of January, I found out. So it was like January 3rd, 4th. I signed the contract. I found out about Bellator. So, I mean, it's not, like, super-duper, like, a lot of notice, but it was enough to, like, I got some awesome training and just everything kind of walked out and fell into place. So, it's really cool. Who did you get to train with uh, down at ATT? I know it's a huge gym, but was there anyone in particular you got to work with? I was really excited. I got to uh, train a little bit with Tisha Torres. That was pretty exciting. Yeah, I've always been a huge fan of her. I was like, oh, my God, hi. <laughs> She's so nice, and I got to wrestle with her a little bit. And then, actually, um, Valerie, I'm so bad at saying people's last names, uh, Let's, yeah, she's fighting on the, the next day. So it was so funny when I met her there because I was like, she's actually the first, one of the first girls I met when I was like coming in and I was like all nervous, you know? And uh, she was like, hey, and I'm like, hey, what's up? And she's like, I was like, you have any fights coming up? And she told me Bell. So I'm like, oh my God, me too. She's like, oh. So originally we were both on the same card, but then her, her opponent got switched as well. And now she's on Saturday. So I'm like, I got to stay and watch you, girl. Like, so it's exciting that we were both training for Bellator. And I'm like, I'm going to see you again, like really soon. <laughs> so that was really cool. Yeah, that worked out really well. Um, and and uh, and again, because you knew you this this fight was a you know decent amount of time. I imagine the cut's going good because better than a couple days notice, you actually have yeah. a you know decent camp for this. Yeah, yeah. I, I, this is the best I've ever felt. I um switched up my diet a little bit. Um, because I I basically can eat whatever I want and still make weight because I'm so small. Like my everybody's always like gain weight, and I'm like I train so much, I burn it so fast. My metabolism apparently is like a twelve year old's metabolism. So like. Like, for real, like, I got my body composition done. I'm like, your metabolism is really fast. And I'm like, that's why I can't gain weight. <laughs> so I literally can eat whatever I want, but I've been eating really – I mean, I always eat clean with my fights. Like, I eat pretty super good, but, like, now I'm, like, really, like, buckling down. I'm not – I always eat a lot of carbs. So I'm kind of, like, I kind of run, like, a little sugar detox. So I'm, like, really ripped right now. I'm, like, one 110 when I wake up in the mornings and stuff. So I'm, like, ripped. I'm, like, this is awesome. I need to do this more often. So I'm really excited because I've been working with – um. I'll give them a shout out, uh, Hudson Valley Weight Loss. So, like, they have a really good pro program. If anybody wants to lose weight, they're really good at that. They have a lot of good supplements. So, I have just been working with them and eating really clean. And I'm like, I'm ready, man. <laughs> so, what can we expect on February 15th? How do you see this fight playing out? Um, I I'm always going for the finish. Um, I always like to finish fights as soon as possible. You know, like, when you fight, you want your back, you know, you want your obviously build your back, but you also want to last as long as you can in the sport because I love fighting and I want to fight as long as possible so if I can finish fights fast with no damage that's the way I'm going to do it but that's the plan always 
<laughs> and, and what about the plan after this? Not looking past this fight, but uh, I imagine you just want to keep active. I, I'm assuming this is just a one fight deal and you'll just take whatever you can get in terms of big matchups. Yes, correct. Yeah, I'm always just trying to stay active and I'm not seeing a contract with Invicta. So um, they're awesome. I'm probably going to get on their next card. They actually have a card the same night that I'm fighting. Um, they're having a little flyweight tournament, which is awesome. So they'll probably get some more add-on weights on the next card. I think so. Like... Timing could work out pretty well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. March, April, it looks like it's a good plan. So that's what I'm hoping for. That's another reason why I want to finish the fight fast, because I want to be ready for that one. So. Yeah, you, know. you don't get paid by the hour, so, so that's, that's <laughs> yeah. important. All right, well, we're looking forward to it. It's February 15th. It's Bellator 215. Lindsay, always great talking to you. Just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours. Uh, yes, um, you can find me on damsel underscore MMA on Instagram, and then on Facebook, um, Lindsay Damsel Van Zant, my fighter page. Um, I have a Twitter. I don't really use it, so... I mean, I'm on there. Like, I'll, I'll, like, I'll see stuff, but I just don't post as much. I usually just kind of have it linked, so like everything I post on Instagram is on Twitter. I'm a little lazy with Twitter. Um, <laughs> but um, actually, my sister has opened up a bakery, so I want to give her a shout out. I mean, we're our sister, Katie Rose Bakery, and then uh, my my family actually has op just opened a restaurant, Patsy Roadhouse. They're all like right next to each other, so it's really awesome. They have great food, so shout out to them. And um, I'll give a couple more shout outs, like Kings of Fitness, getting me ready for this fight. They're always bringing in new equipment for me to use for my strength and conditioning and stuff. My, my punching power is getting, I'm getting stronger and stronger. People keep commenting. And I'm like, yeah, I'm making those games. So it's awesome. And, um, Aspen chiropractics, they are also in the same office as Hudson Valley weight loss. So hit them both up. <laughs>